So welcome to tonight's show, you're with Tom, Brian and Steve and this is NRL from the sidelines except once again we have a Tom missing, Brian. That's right, we do have Tom missing and Tom Tom wasn't very up, well Tom was very upset that, that we um that we did Tom. So this is the new Tom. Yeah, he, he, he didn't, Tom didn't like the old Tom so we have a new Tom. And this Tom has a deep masculine <laughs> voice. How are you going Tom? <laughs> I lost my voice. See, it is you, Tom. It is. It's exactly how he sounds. Well, let's have something how I think he sounds, because he's been texting me. So he's not actually doing a lot of talking. Uh, very good. How are you? I, I don't know what to say after this weekend of football, Steve. So I'm not going to say anything. We're going to talk about some interesting topics. And we're going to talk about some shocking games. And bad decisions. Oh, terrible decisions. <laughs> Okay, so we've just had round seven of the NRL, and it started out on Thursday night with a classic, a classic game of football. A classic beaches game. Beaches game. Oh yes. my goodness! This is the classic, a game of two halves. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Okay, let's go on to um, Points Bet Stadium, where the Cronulla Sharks 34 beat Manly Seagulls 22 after leading 32-0 at halftime. Yes. Brian, have you been in touch with Des? Oh, just... And... Des, I, I... There are no words. There no are words. no words. No. I, I don't know what to say about that. I, I don't know how any team can give away 32 points. And... Uh, and it was... I... I like we've watched football for a long time. Yes. Have you ever seen a player as dominant as Talakai was in the first half? No, I haven't. But I... I've also never seen a player on the other side, Cara in the corner, as as Just... Morgan Harper seemed to do. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've I've not seen a such a dominant display. I mean. Luckily, he didn't carry it on for 80 minutes because you, you're lucky. <laughs> that, would have been, that would have been terrifying. You're lucky. And um, yeah, the you know, and uh, there's been lots of talk on the the Manly websites about um, uh, about Harper and COVID and why did Des play him and what did that do to his confidence and how do you come back from that? Um, oh, you can come back. From that. Harper Harper wasn't alone on that side of the field, and I don't no, think he it's, wasn't. I don't think it's only his fault. Um, and for that, but for anyone who was defending him, uh, in the second half, uh, they started with uh, the young, the young speedster in the centres. Right. And uh, he he was magnificent in defence. Talakai is a huge man, and there were a couple of times he was picked up and driven backwards. And I'm just thinking, why didn't Des make this change sooner? Yeah. Well, so you know, and and I think Harper is quite a good player, but. You know, I, I was surprised, and he mustn't have been well because no. he, he's not usually that poor in defence. No, it was it was pretty bad. I mean, let's face it, he, he dominated um, Dane Gagai like four weeks ago when we played yep. Newcastle. He 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 That's can right. be. I don't I don't understand. No, I don't understand. Okay, um, but you know what, Cronulla Sharks were excellent. They, they were. They played. I mean, they they really have this power game working at the moment. Yeah, it's it's exceptional. If if only. We hadn't given away 32 points. 22-2, that win in the second half was awesome. I'm going to talk about the second half. So you want to get a point for the second half now? I do. All right, let's go to Suncorp Stadium where the Broncos 34 defeated the Dogs 14. And no, I, no. look, I've got to tell you, I've been mm. being hammered by friends who remind me of Adam, Adam Reynolds leaving the Bunnies <laughs> <laughs> and the game he played for them. Oh. Anyway... But that that was hard that game it was i mean the, the dogs were up and i was thinking uh well so i should say earlier in the week i thought ooh, i'm gonna pick the dogs that's what i thought and then all of a sudden the round started it's underway and i clean forgot to change my tips <laughs> i'm watching the game terrified of the broncos winning and the dogs take the lead and they were playing they were playing a reasonable football. Well, basically, Brisbane had nothing in attack. Yeah. And then uh, Adam Reynolds. <laughs> How do you feel about Adam Reynolds, by the way, Steve? Oh, look, I, I'm I've moved on from Adam Reynolds going really? to the Broncos. I have. Ooh. Uh, 
and we'll come to that because because there's actually part of I was going to talk about that when we get to the South game, but um, and many of them. Tom has sent me some messages. <laughs> Tom's communicating to us. Tom is talking, which is he, better than last week. He's texting. Are you okay, Tom? Yeah, I'm doing <laughs> fine. <laughs> he said Reynolds really stepped up to beat the dogs, and he did. He had an exceptional yep. game, absolutely exceptional game, and and you know, good luck to him. I I hope he does well. Yep. To a degree. Yep. To All a right. Very big degree. Let's North talk Queensland, about the oh, sorry, Queensland Country Bank Stadium, where North Queensland 30 defeated the Titans 4. I think we all thought the Titans were going to be a, a threat this year. Not Maybe not a premiership <clears> threat, but certainly a top eight side. They're not playing like it at the moment. They, two weeks ago, the Titans tested Parramatta in, in, uh, in what I thought was one of the best games of the season. Yep. Last week, the Titans uh, let Manly get to a lead and tenaciously fought back. So I had picked them. I'm not, I'm not. I wasn't expecting great things from the Titans. Yep. But two weeks in a row of good performances, then that. Then that. What do you, What do you do? Yeah. What do you do? If you're a Titans fan, how do you feel if you're a Titans fan? So, Man. Well, how do you feel if you're a North Queensland fan too? Because well, they they played really well. Yeah. Yeah. Against the Titans, they weren't that great the week before. Yep. So yeah, they're having their up and down moments yeah. as well. But I've got to say, I'm thinking North Queensland for top eight as opposed to the Titans. Mm, I'm not convinced of that. The the the, the Cowboys are, are in the unenviable position of when things go against them, they fall into a heap. Yeah. So you know, realistically, I think if the Titans have got two or three early tries, I don't think the Cowboys could have come back. They don't seem to have that. Uh, toughness in their yep. game or experience experience let's call it experience, experience in their game yeah. you know the young guys all stepped up uh, Tommy Dearden was good Scott Drinkwater Nanai Lukey they were all fantastic and and one I I, I would love but mm. Carl Felt I think is an exceptional player I yeah. don't think he gets the 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 kudos for what he does for that team but I, yep. I, I find him exceptional I well, truly do there's, there's, there's some good things about the Cowboys. Val Holmes is going fantastic yeah, in the yes, centres. Yes, he is. I would yes. never have picked it. No. I mean, from a winger to a fullback, you to know, centre. Yeah. to a centre. And I, I think he's playing fantastic football. Yeah, and look, I think North Queensland is starting to find some combinations. And the, I think the Hammers back in either this week or next week. Well... Surely you don't move Scott Drinkwater out. I, I was going to say, where, what do you, where do you put him? I don't know. He's a waste on the wing. Yep. You can't put him. You wouldn't put him in the centres. I had a Hiku and at Val Holmes. No. No. So, so Drinkwater gets dropped. He's going to have to. He's going to have to go to fourteen. Oof, geez, I'd personally play the hammer at fourteen and bring him on. No, I don't know. A little bit of match fitness on and off the ten. Maybe. 15. I don't Maybe. know. Anyway. All right, let's go on to Combank Stadium. This was a painful game where the West Tigers twenty-three beat South Sydney Rabbitohs twenty-two. What was painful about it, Steve? I we thought lost. It was a great game. Great you, game. You would have liked it. I was. I was. I've got to tell you, how does a team who makes 16 errors still only lose by one point? The Tigers aren't that good. <laughs> how does well, a team that makes no errors only win by one I, point? Well, I tell you what, <laughs> and, and I think I think there's something there. But what the Tigers did show, and they showed against Parramatta last week, was a lot of heart. Yep. I don't think they have the scoring prowess to really compete. But you know what? They defended, they defended, they defended. And you, you look at that break that South made down the sideline where yep. Lachlan Ilias was tackled. Yep. Um, there was another a number of, <clears throat> of attempts or defensive performances that were outstanding. Yeah, oh, absolutely. They. It, it seems as though they're putting it all on the line for Madge. Um, yes. And, yeah, look, I'm, I'm still not convinced about Ken Malama, Malak. Where's Tom when I need him? <laughs> yes, I know who you mean. Oh, yes. man. I don't, don't even what, try. Just Ken. Don't even yes. try it yet. Ken the winger. Ken the winger. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that side of the field, that edge is very uh, clever with the way they use the ball. No. So, I don't know. They've got problems but, as well. But, Jack, but Jackson Hastings is, is out of this playing, out of this world at the moment. Yeah. Well, Jackson Hastings is giving uh, everyone else on the team a lot of confidence. Yeah. 
Um, the, the stick he went through at the Roosters of Manly, uh, uh, he's, he's come back and it's nearly like, just give me the garbage, I, I, you know, because this is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> what I've gone through, this is nothing. Yeah. And I think the rest of the team is, is uh, you know, appreciating that they've, you know, that they've got someone there who is willing to take it on. But the, the difference of just putting him at halfback and, and Brooks at 5'8", which I shouldn't make say, any difference. No, I've got to say, I, d- I didn't think it was going to be a big deal, but wow, look at him. Yep. Now, Adam Reynolds. A lot of people have been saying to me... He's not there anymore, know, Steve. But a lot of people have been saying to me that, you know, about South losing Adam Reynolds. But let's remember one thing. Adam Reynolds also didn't yep. win every game for us when it went to Golden Point. Adam Reynolds didn't win the grand final for us last year when he had a number of attempts at goal. So I don't think South would have necessarily won this game with Adam Reynolds. I do. But I do, I do because the, well, the, the game thing, management would have been That better. would have been the only difference, but it doesn't I mean, mean we would have won. When Jai Arrow gets the ball in the last tackle and takes a shot at field goal... Which, was, which I could have done better. Come on, let's be honest here. My knees are too shot. <laughs> Yeah, you know, takes a shot at field goal. That was terrible. It was a terrible shot. But you know what? If, if, if South also hadn't let the Tigers march 60 metres down the field in that set, it also wouldn't have made, you know... Yep. The, the whole team just was not respecting the process. Yep. Too much drop ball. Yep. <clears throat> and look, they're going to get it. I have, I have no doubt they're going to make the top eight. But you know what, they have to start putting some combinations together and they're going to have to start putting their heads into the game Absolutely. because they're not there at the moment. Correct. You know, and, and contrary to last week when South played the, the Dogs and had three tries, scored three tries when a player was off, Yep. South scored two tries against the Tigers when we lost a player. Yep. So, you know, it, it really doesn't pay to work out that if just because a team loses a player, they no. fall apart. All right. Uh, enough of that. Let's go on to a very disappointing Newcastle Knights at McDonald Jones Stadium, losing 39 to two. Wow, I thought this was a disappointment of a game. There's oh, more coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, what do you say? Like the the Knights were dominated in every aspect yeah. of the game. Adam O'Brien afterwards, you know, when he was asked, what do you say to the fans? You know. He shouldn't have had an answer because that was disgusting. It was. It, it was very poor. They, they, you know. And this is this is a team that after round one came out, beat the Roosters with such energy and enthusiasm and drive that everybody thought this is it. Yeah. And then I can't remember who they beat in round two, but we asked the question last week, Steve. Caelan Ponga, is he worth it? And I still say no. Well. This is around seven. The Knights had a win without him, a win without him, and now five losses in a row with him. So I'm not suggesting that it's no, his fault, no, 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 but no, it's, it's not his fault because he is an exceptional player. But do the do the rest of the team go to sleep when he's on the field because I think he's going to do it. Do they have the Tom Travoyevi? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I Fever. think they do. <laughs> yes, I think they do because. Yeah. You know, he is an exceptional player. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I'm sorry, I don't believe he's worth a million dollars plus. Um, I do. I don't. I, I, I think the way he's playing at the moment and what he brings to the team is probably around the 758 mark. And I, and I think <clears throat> that, that extra money should be used for, for more other for exceptional more, for, players. For everyone. Because well, no, they're not they, the Roosters. Yeah, well, just uh, yeah, I don't understand. And now they've they've copped more injuries than Knights with um, yeah. Dane Gago with a broken face and uh, oh, the winger, the winger. Sorry, I can't remember the winger as well. So yeah. I think they are in big trouble. Well, without without Gago, they are because right. he's actually been the mainstay of that team for quite a few weeks now. Absolutely. Disappointment number two. No, no I, 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 I just think in performance-wise, no, Bluebird Stadium, Penrith Panthers 36 over Canberra Raiders 6. I was disappointed that, really? Yeah, I, in, in, I thought the Raiders sh- should have shown more. Uh, Mind you, there was Penrith were exceptional, but... Pe- yeah, Penrith were good, and, and look at their tries. 55, 55th minute, 58th minute, 67th minute, 70, 72nd minute. Like, it wasn't until the back end of the game 
and it was bang, 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 bang. Yep. It, you know, that was that was tied up until then. You know, it was. It was okay, but what made what made them fall apart? Uh, I don't know. I think, I think after Crichton scored, and I actually think the crowd got to them. To be perfectly honest, um, there's. <laughs> There's, there's, You're not going to say that no, the, no, the well, mocking I, I, Viking clap. I, I actually am. No. I actually am. Because it was at that moment that the wheels fell off yeah. and Canberra didn't even look like competing. And there's there's something to be said for a, a home ground advantage. Yes. Uh, and there's a lot of bad blood between Penrith and the Raiders. Yep. And I don't know. I think that that just had... that that was just that little bit of a mental stub and they just couldn't they just fell apart they just fell apart it was insane yeah i, I mean I, it, it was it might have been coincidence I, I and i don't understand how a crowd could have that much effect on a opposition team i'd like to know how they started it in the first place who, who got the oh, idea of saying and you know, 20 minutes to go let's do a viking clap well it was it was after Cri- Crichton scored and i think that put the game beyond doubt because yeah. they weren't coming back to score yeah, three I, tries. I, I don't know. I, I, you know what? Opposition players, opposition supporters give heaps to, to goal kickers. And yeah. To, you know, I, I don't know. I don't they, know. They, they I need don't to know. be tougher than that. They do. Um, even Tom said the Raiders were solid in the first half, but the Panthers are patient. And he's right. The Panthers are a very patient team. Yep. They don't panic. They just play the full 80 minutes. Yep. And say, well, okay, we might be struggling. We might be behind. We, yep. we you know, this might be a tight game, but... Let's yep. just go the eighty minutes. And they've got they've got options. That that that's the problem with the, well that's the problem. If you're playing the if you're playing the Panthers, that's the problem. They've got yeah. options. Yeah. Because if if Cleary smothered, the ball goes to Yeo, yeah. who just plays like a, an extra five eight. If they get around you, they've got uh, you know May and Crichton and you know Charlie Staines, who's phenomenally quick but doesn't ever get the ball. Like <laughs> you know, yeah. it's just. Yeah, I don't, it's, I, don't. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. All right, let's bring up Anzac Day. Sydney Cricket Ground, St George Laura 14, Roosters 12. Yep. Again, a game of two halves. I don't know what to say about this game. Let's let Tom talk, shall no, we? What, okay. Tom, what does Tom want to say Tom, about Tom this game? Says, can you do it in his voice? No, I can't. Can I do it in his voice then? You can give, if you want to read it out. No, no give, got it? give me a second. I've just got to uh, channel my inner Tom. <laughs> All right, in it, my inner Tom. Yeah, inner Tom. Great defence by both teams. Two soft dragons tries. Roosters uh, uh, halves. Still a work in progress. Yes, my favourite player deserved to go to the bin. <laughs> that is so good. That's so Tom, isn't it? It's so Tom. Okay, so let's talk about right. favourite player going to the bin. He should have been binned. I, I don't know whether I should comment on this. Why? Because I. This is this is what I'm thinking. Two weeks ago, Junior Paulo made a tackle. The tackle hit him, slid up to his head. Yep. Player went over. Yep. Uh, no head bin or anything. Junior Paulo binned and then suspended. Yep. In the Manly Cronulla game, uh, Ola Kalato hit Aiden Tolman. Exactly the same. Yep. It was a hit on the shoulder that slipped up into the head. Ten in the bin. He's going to miss a game. Yep. Hook was right. Of course. Radradra had, uh, sorry, Tupo had 30 meters yep. to go. How am I going to tackle this bloke? Look at the size of him coming at me. Yep. And then chose, inexplicably, to reach out and put his arm across his head. Yep. And take him out. I don't. I don't even think. In my mind, you you have a tackle go wrong, you get ten in the bin. But when you've got that much time to think about it, surely that's a send off. No, I, I don't think it was a send off. Oh. I, I, because and, and someone did bring it up through the week that actually his arm arm came off the ball. I, I mean, he was carrying the ball um, up here. So yeah. yes, it did come off the ball and go straight to his head. But I, I guess. I, I see it as a sin bin. I'd, I'd hate well, to see that as a send off. But well, I'd, I'd my be, concern. I'd be happy for it to be a send off because it wasn't reflex. It was like I don't know how that wasn't deliberate. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it's not. 
you know, it's not, uh, you know, you're a big lumbering forward and, you know, some little bloke slips around you and you, no, you put your it. arm out. Yep. This is this is somebody coming, running, and you hit them in the head. Okay, so my concern now is that there's been all this carry on over the yep. last few days about it. Yep. And what I'm really fearful now is we're going back to magic round of last year where every hit in the head is now going to be a penalty. Uh, every hit, sin bin. every right. hit in the head is. No, but be a sin bin, and it shouldn't be. But it is. They've been doing. They've been be. doing it all year. I know. If you hit, if you hit a player high, you go to the bin. It's been like that all year. No, it hasn't. It's been inconsistent all year. Well, it's it's happened. It's happened enough this year that it's ninety percent of tackles. Well, anyway. this was a, this was terrible because the bunker had the opportunity to look at it, but the ref had said had already said to the bunker, it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah. Well, but see, this is, here's the inconsistency. That, you're right, the bunker's saying it's not as bad as it looks. In the South Sydney game, Cody yep. Walker was penalised for looking over his shoulder. Yeah, I know, that was ridiculous. I mean, now we're starting, we're starting to question intent. Yep. Exactly. Did, did he, and no, you no. can't do it. Well, see, look, I, and, and for me personally, if you're talking about that, look, I... I do I think Cody Walker was running him off the ball? Possibly, but, but he if I'm Cody, if I'm Cody Walker and some bloke's coming charging at me, I want to know where he is exactly. so I can brace for the impact. Exactly, but not only that, it, it, whether he looked over his shoulder to see if he could run him off the ball yep. or not, he didn't. Yep, I know. So, I... so where was the penalty? So now we have a situation where Tupo is a head high. It, the, it's yeah, honestly, know. we're starting to question intent, and yep. you can't do intent because every player tries to cheat. That, well, not cheat. Take advantage Take of advantage. what rules they can. Had Rodrigo stayed down, yep, he would have been to the bin, no doubt. No problem. Yes. So now we're asking players to stay down. Yes, to, we are. Yeah, which is wrong. Okay, but let's talk about St George. Played well. Geez, they they got to fourteen 0 lead and were exceptional in that I, second half. Can I just say, I take credit for this. Well done. I take credit for it. Barry, I take credit for the Dragons' turnaround. Is it, because is it, he is a Dragons supporter. Two Keep weeks that. ago, two weeks ago, when they were playing uh, Newcastle, I sat here and said, are you kidding me? How could you pick them? They've only <laughs> won one in the last 13. They haven't lost again since. So uh, I take full credit. Hang on, hang on. You realise then Tom's going to take full credit for Tigers beating South because he backed South, yeah. uh, backed the Tigers in the. No, Tom can't do it. He's not here. What do you okay. think, Tom? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on to um, the disappointment of the <laughs> round. Um, Melbourne Storm 70 against the Warriors 10, and they what? did 54 points in the second half. What do you mean, disappointment? If you are a Melbourne fan and you were sitting there watching <laughs> okay. that, you were just going. Yeah, I know. The whole, it, it was the whole second half. But if you're a Warriors supporter, well, you're probably a little bit more than disappointed. <laughs> a little bit more. They lost by 60 points. 60. I know. <clears throat> 54 points in the second half, and that I mean, uh, it's bad enough if he gets 54 points scored against you in a game. Oh, let alone. Yeah. yeah. In I, one half of just, football. Uh, there's no words. I mean, I know that, I know that the incident involving, uh, uh, oh, sorry, who was knocked out? Dallin. Dallin, yeah. Uh, he was knocked out, and that caused a big shuffle, a reshuffle. But that's not oh, but sixty points. No, it's not. Put your body it's in front of the It's Not sixty points. I mean, you know. I mean, you know. I mean, I, I, I don't like. I tell you what, I don't like. I don't like it when my team play Melbourne and Justin Ollum. Is, is running like a madman at Morgan Harper because I know he's going to run over the top of him. Hang on, that's a bit of a common theme this week. <laughs> yeah. But um, there were a couple of times there where it just looked like the the Warriors players were jumping out of the way. Yeah. Like, they, they just it, had... It did. It was... Uh, if you are Nathan Brown, you... I don't know whether you stick solid and say, no. turn it around, boys, or you, you just say, the whole lot of you are sacked. No, I'd, I'd, I'd wipe the team. There's, Seriously. There were only like two players that were putting in, I thought. I thought Reese Walsh tried particularly hard, but that's one. And I thought uh, Adam Fanoa Blake was was good. But I, I tell you what, when, when, when you let someone like Big Nelson kick oh. 
and he's got so much time to kick like a 5-8. I know. Like Pappenhausen, Wood or, or Munster. Oh. I mean, honestly, that, yeah. I, Melbourne were exceptional, but let's not, oh, man. let's not deviate from the fact that I think the Warriors were very poor. I agree. All right, let's go on to, you want to do the, the ladder? Ladder. Uh, the Panthers still unbeaten uh, with seven out of seven. Uh, then we have the Storm. Then we have Parramatta and the Sharks. That's that's the top up. four. And the people, well, that, what's, can I just say? They can't hear you. Can I just say that's the top four, and I don't know whether that's going to change too much now. It's not. Uh, then we have a plethora of teams, one win behind them: the Cowboys, the Roosters, and the Seagulls. Then just in the eight, just in the eight on no, four no, and against. In the eight. Just in the eight, equal on points. Souths. In the eight. Yeah, with uh, the Broncos and the Dragons and the Warriors. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we have Titans, Tigers, Knights, Raiders, and the poor old Bulldogs. Poor old Bulldogs running last, and I believe Phil Gould got into them to training today. And Stone motherless. Yelled at them. All right, let's go on to um, round eight for next week. Yep. But I want to say, Ooh. in our in our KFC Super Coach, I oh. lost again. <laughs> Again, only by about 20 points. Well, I, I lost. I, I look at all of my lineups, yep. and I went, and everybody went Pappenhausen as captain. Yep. And there were a couple where I was edge and edge, and I thought, okay, if I'm not going to go Paps as captain, I'm going to go Harry Grant. Yep. And it saved me, except <laughs> for the one that I wanted to win in our comp, where the person who I was playing against, by the way, go, Brett, how you going? Uh, decided that he would captain Nathan Cleary. Oh, no. Nathan Cleary, who, who I think in Supercoach points got 158. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm 300 points down. <laughs> well, oh. feel better. I lost by 20. Anyway, all right. All right. Let's go on to round eight. Uh, Thursday night at Suncorp Stadium, where the Broncos are playing the Cronulla Sharks. Sharks have got to get this, don't Sharks they? Sharks have got to get this. Did Tom send his tips through? Tom, did you send your tips through? Oh, Tom. Tom, No, Tom. he didn't. Well, let's pick for Tom. Okay. Um, and and I, because I'm the, the comp admin, I can just change the tips to whatever we decide. Okay. So I would think Tom would go the Broncos. I think Tom is a secret Broncos yeah, fan. Yes, so. Broncos. I think he is too. So <laughs> Everyone think, else has gone the Sharks. Everyone's gone the Sharks. <laughs> sure. uh, okay. Let's go on to Super Superstadium where the Gold Coast Titans are going to be a perfect match for the Penrith Panthers. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is going to be sensational, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering whether in the back of the Panthers' heads, this is the only reason they may lose, if in the back of their heads they're thinking, can we put 70 points on the team? <laughs> because this could be the game. Don't you agree? No. You don't think they'll put 70 on? No, I don't think they'll put 70 on. 50? No, I think they'll do 30, but I don't think they'll do that. Oh, I, think they're, I think it's a 50-point win. And what do you reckon, Tom? I think the Titans, I think they've got the chance oh, to beat, to beat <laughs> my new team. <laughs> Oops, sorry Tom, didn't mean to knock okay. out of here, mate. Uh-oh. Friday night, it's you and I, Bunnies against Manly at Central Coast Stadium, which is a South home game. Thank you, South, I'll lose another one. Are you going to win this? Yes. Have you got anyone out? Oh, yeah, we've got heaps out. Like? Latrell. We've got Latrell out? Yep. We've got um, Tane Mills out. <laughs> okay, big loss. Well, it is. Yep. Um, and we've lost one other forward. Was that Paul? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, actually, I actually don't know. This is, the, this is the first week I'm not convinced that my team... Um, Did, it's going to okay, be in the running. Let me ask you, have you got anyone in your team that you recognise the name of? <laughs> uh, Maybe David Cherry Evans you've heard of before, uh, Karen Foran, but outside of that... Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, I, I must admit, it's it's looking a bit thin. So, you know, depth, depth is, is Manly's problem, and when you've got uh, your starting forward pack is Josh Alloway out. Yeah. Uh, um, Oh, the big unit. Can't even think of his name now. Hurt his knee. He's out. We've well, got... Um, there's just... There's, there's no one there. Just no Okalatu, one. Schuster, uh, yeah. LOI, um, 
Tanella Paseca. So, so let's just say it's a great time to be playing um, Manly. They've got another forward out as well. We're, we're actually our entire starting pack is. Oh no, Marty's there, and Marty would start. So no, we're, Marty was out. No, Marty. No, Marty's listed. Marty's okay. listed. All right. It's like I'm. But, he, I'm but just, he's coming back from injury too. Yeah, I'm just looking at it, going. I don't. Under, this is. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a very, very tough game. A very tough game. I'm looking forward to it. it should be fun. <laughs> Okay, let's, we've got to go through these quickly. Morton, right. Base, Morton Daly Stadium, Warriors and Canberra Raiders? Uh, uh, war, uh, ra, ra, I'm Raiders. going Raiders. Raiders. Yeah. Raiders. The Warriors were too bad last Even week. Even Tom would go Raiders. Uh, yeah. Acor Stadium, Bulldogs against the Roosters. Roosters. I tell you what. No. I tell you no. what. No. Phil Gould gave his team a blasting today no. and ran the session. No. The no, it's not going to make a difference. Well, They've won one game. At least the Roosters are putting together some play. Okay, Tom, you think we'll go for Bulldogs? Oh, I actually don't. I actually don't think that Tom, Tom could go for the Bulldogs in this <laughs> one. No, I don't think good either. Uh, let's go TIO Stadium. I think that's Darwin. Paramount Eagles in North Queensland. Yep. Tom, what do you think? Oh, I think Cowboys yeah, <laughs> are a great <laughs> shot at winning this. See, Tom, you should have just been here. That's right, yeah. I'm going Paramount, I guess yeah. you are as well. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, McDonald Jones Stadium. Oh, this could be a shellacking. Um, Newcastle Knights against the Melbourne Storm. Can they do 70 again? No, but they can do 50. That's only 35 points and a half. <laughs> they put 50 on last in the last half of football they played. It's, it's scary, and I tell you what, if Newcastle don't... If they, if they play like they did last week, oh. they will get 50 put on them easy. Man, that's just, just, yeah, there's no way. I'm actually Ooh. looking forward to this next one. Wynn yeah. Stadium, St George and the West Tigers. Both teams have, have really started to, or last weekend, try to turn their seasons around. Yeah, I think, I think this, is, this is one of the toughest games of the round. Oh, it is. Because I, I, I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go Dragons. Okay. Because uh, I don't think two one-point wins make a season. And the dragons, the dragons have been tough in their wins. Yeah, I'm going to go tigers because because I I just think they've got a bit more than what St George do, mm. and and I think the way they're playing at the moment, I just think they're they're really starting to show something. I, no, I I think well, I think I think Jack Jack Bird is a big loss for the dragons. Yes. So, you know, that's nearly enough to tip me to the tigers. I don't know. Yeah. At the moment, I'm on the Dragons, but I don't know. Right. Okay, so that's the end of our show. Thank you for watching. You're with Steve and Brian. And, and Tom. And Tom. <laughs> We're getting better and, there, are you, Tom? And this is NRL from the sidelines. Thank you for watching. We'll see. We'll do it all again next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.